Hello everyone, my name is Jacob and today I should be building a Rolls Royce armored car in Minecraft. Alright, so uh, as I said before, we've got a Rolls Royce armored vehicle here. Uh, it is an armored car um, that was in use during uh, and after World War I. Um, so these things were around before uh, the invention of the tank. Um, and they were used to quite a large extent, I would say. Um, arguably, they weren't very successful um, during the war um, because, of course, uh, uh, due to the fact that there was just a car, um, they weren't really uh, suited for the kind of terrain that um, there that that there was on. Uh, uh, the Western Front uh, in World War One. Um, so they used them at the very beginning of the war uh, more successfully when the war was still um, not as stationary. Uh, but later on, um, they kind of fell out, fell out of favor, um, and um, they didn't really use them that much anymore. Um, However, they did use this type of vehicles after the war quite a bit. Um, there's also uh, World War II variations um, and uh, probably uh, some nations, some countries used them even after World War II. Um, um, the main ones, so the Rolls Wars ones and um, uh, the British ones were used after the war uh, in, in the colonies. Um, when uh, the colonies wanted to, some of the colonies wanted to um, get uh, out of the, the Union or they wanted to get uh, a, a special uh, status, uh, a, a status of a, a non-colony I guess um, and uh, they, they were used by like um, police forces I guess, colonial forces um, to uh, quite a, um, uh, a successful uh, uh, way, uh, because they are quite good at just uh, driving around on um, like streets and uh, patrolling. Uh, they're pretty good at that. Uh, so the World War One ones uh, had a uh, um, uh, a water-cooled machine gun in the turret. This is the turret up here, by the way, um, uh, and uh, they use that. Uh, but then later they changed to uh, other configurations with different machine guns, um, maybe smaller caliber ones, or uh, they had some uh, with uh, anti-tank rifles installed in the turret. Um, that was also uh, a way to make this thing viable uh, at the beginning of World War II, um, but that really quickly fell out of favor as well. Uh, so anyway, what is this thing? Uh, so basically, uh, it's just a Rolls Royce chassis um, onto which they bolted a uh, an armored an armored body, I guess, with a turret and a machine gun uh, up top. Uh, so you may know this, uh, but um, before sort of um, I would say the 40s, um, there or maybe the, the late 30s. Before that time. Uh, car, car manufacturers only manufactured the, the chassis of the car with the engine uh, and the drivetrain attached and then whoever bought that chassis uh, could um, have uh, the, uh, the upper part, uh, so all the body, the body work, the body panels made by an, a different company, it was called uh, Coach Building and um, it was pretty much the only way to get a car, I guess. Uh, now, because of that time, only the rich people had cars. Um, they were quite keen on this because everyone can could have uh, a special car. Um, they could they could have it built in a way that it was different than anything else on the road if they had enough money, uh, obviously. So uh, that's why Rolls Royce was just selling the chassis with the engines. And uh, the the British government just bought those a whole bunch of those. I think they just bought uh, at the beginning of the war. They just bought like everything they had in stock, uh, and ordered a whole bunch more. Um, so they um, 
they had those and then they just bolted them they just bolted this sort of uh, armored contraption onto them now of course these early um, well early uh, these cars from the 30s uh, or actually before the 30s I'm sorry before the the first world war um, they were uh, quite substantial uh, if you know what I mean um, they were more like trucks especially like Rolls Royces because they were made for comfort um, they were more like trucks and so they could take this uh, kind of load and uh, pretty much work not, not with, uh, without any problems uh, and obviously they had uh, quite good um, quite reliable engines uh, so that helped as well um, they weren't very fast but uh, they were quite reliable so anyway um, I think it's time that we uh, start building this thing and uh, I'll tell you uh, some more stuff about it uh, while we do it alright so we're gonna start with the with the wheels uh, we've got obviously uh, just four um, and uh, we're gonna space them one block apart and then there's gonna be four blocks uh, in between them here in the middle and then just gonna connect them with some slabs like so and then um, we're gonna have some mud guards on the front ones and we're just gonna extend this at the back a bit and on the sides we're gonna extend the chassis like so so we're gonna have enough room for all the stuff that goes on top uh, so first of all we have a radiator a grill on the front uh, attached to that is uh, a fence gate uh, now the real ones have a sort of a, um, a mechanism uh, or a door, a two-part door sort of system up front uh, that they can close in order to uh, protect the radiator uh, against the bullets um, but uh, when they are not in uh, uh, immediate danger they can open that so the, the engine can get uh, some cool uh, water uh, so that's what that's uh, supposed to represent um, and then we're just gonna extend this back a bit just something like that uh, we have the front bit uh, with the with the engine and then we have the crew compartment with the turret at the back uh, so we just uh, extend this a bit like so and here and then we have some mud guards on top of uh, these two wheels as well like so um, these also uh, as it w as was pretty common that time uh, they had spare wheels um, or or just tires on the side of the of the car uh, now of course I can't really make that here necessarily because if I put uh, a whole block of black wool there it would look kind of weird so I just opted to use these um, these hatches uh, and uh, it looks not terrible um, okay so we've got that uh, we're gonna add some more stuff to the front here uh, so we're gonna need um, some uh, item frames uh, so we got some of those right here we're gonna put them uh, on top of the mud guards these are gonna be our our headlights and then uh, we're gonna need some carpet uh, I use green carpet for this because because the rest of the car is green uh, but of course uh, I'm not sure they, they were all uh, strictly green I've seen a green one so um, just making it green and then uh, we're gonna need some item frames on the uh, on the wheels actually um, just to make them look a bit better there we are and uh, that's pretty much it for the front uh, on the back we're gonna have some daylight sensors these are gonna represent uh, some sort of uh, storage um, like compartments here uh, at the back uh, usually for like tools and spare parts I guess um, and then we're gonna have to build the turret of course so the turret goes right here in the um, more towards the end of the car uh, and then we have a, uh, a stone slab on top of the turret just like so now later as I said they would uh, sort of retrofit these things to with uh, different types of uh, firearms in the turret as I said before they had some 
anti-tank versions with the boys anti-tank rifle uh, and those had uh, an open top um, turret uh, so they wouldn't close like this one um, okay so we need to build the um, machine gun barrel as well that's gonna uh, the end rod is gonna represent that and uh, I think that's pretty much it uh, it's not a very big thing uh, to build especially not in Minecraft so um, that's pretty much it uh, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, I just thought uh, that this looked kind of neat and I wanted to bring it to you so uh, if you liked it you can press the like button and subscribe to my channel you can also check out my other videos and uh, I will see you next time Thank you.